Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 14th to the 20th of June, 2021. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. So that will resonate for every single Taurian, so do check out your replacement, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated. And the description box has all the information you need, details of private reads, links to Patreon for full access to all extendeds, individual access through Vimeo, and uh, Instagram links to see photos of the spread. Okay, Taurus. What have we got? The Eight of Swords, okay, some sort of mental prison, overthinking, overanalyzing, let's see, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, potential outcome. The Ace of Discs, the Page of Wands, Temperance, and Wu Wai, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. There could be a message coming in about an opportunity to bring some sort of balance, reconciliation. You need to take things slowly. The course that you may think could be different. It's going to lead to a wish fulfillment though. So, the Eight of Swords is kind of a, like I say, a mental prison here. There could be some sort of conflict that you've got going on. Um, what we're aware of is the Knight of Cups. See, the Knight of Cups is here to offer something here, but I'm, I'm looking at the um, the Meteor. This could be rushing things. It could be rushing things again. So what we're not aware of is the um, death. Something's ended. Something's something's died. Um, it could be the old you, it could be the the old, whoever you're dealing with. There's been a transformation. Things are different. Perhaps you've been stuck in your head with an outcome that you um, wanted. Maybe the reality is a little bit different. In the recent past, it's the sun. You know, it's the happiest card in the deck. This is two people embracing here as well, hand, hand in hand. Um, so there could have been some sort of happiness that's come to a situation. But something's ended. The immediate future is the devil. This is temptation of some kind. And the outcome is the Six of Swords. This is tiptoeing across to calmer waters. All I will say is, this is something about getting out of your head about how things are going to go. Don't take things too quickly. The devil could indicate toxic traits. This is, there's a need to take things a step at a time, is, is the message here. Um, I kind of feel like you've you've done exceptionally well in yourself. You've gone through transformations. You know you're seeing the brighter side of life. You've um, you've been um, working on yourself, healing yourself, feeling good about yourself. But there's something here about 
being mentally stuck on possibly an outcome. And in doing that, you're trying to rush the situation. There's a need to be clear in your head that you're exactly where you're meant to be right now. The immediate future being the devil could indicate old toxic ways creeping back in to try and keep you stuck in this sense. Maybe that is rushing things, taking things too quickly, instead of just tiptoeing across. Tiptoeing across to get to the other side. Baby steps. Transformation isn't overnight. This could be somebody that's thinking that their transformation's done. It isn't. You, you, we humans are always evolving and, and having to uh, shed skin. It's like peeling an onion. There's always something to uh, to reveal. But there could be an opportunity for reconciliation, like I say, but there's a just need to go with the flow. Because the thing that's wedged in between temperance and the, and the nine of cups, which is one of my favourite combinations of just pure, utter bliss, is going with the flow. I almost feel like this is having a set thing in your head about that, an outcome and not being able to change that. And that's a toxic trait. Things change, energies change. I've actually just done a, a reading for Aries earlier. Um, and to be honest, I, I wish I'd have just done that reading as a collective because I think it's important for everybody. Um, but it's like being waiting around for something that's set in the mind. There's a need to kind of just take things a step at a time here because energies do change. We all have free will for a start. Okay. So Taurus, don't slip into the devil energy. Don't slip into old toxic ways. Uh, just because you stuck in your head about possibly uh, a certain outcome. Let's see. King of Swords, the Three of Cups, the King of Cups and Judgment. Head over heart is the decision. So, the Eight of Swords is with the Six of Wands. This is kind of um, stuck in a in fighting the ego, I would suggest here. What you're aware of is the Knight of Cups with the lovers. So it could be taking things too too quickly um, in regards to a relationship, a partnership, whatever. It can be uh, it can be anything here, uh, or making a decision too hastily, because it's the it's the asteroid moving quickly that's really standing out. What you're not aware of is death with the Four of Swords. There's been a permanent change within either you or within either them. And the outcome could well be different than what you've perceived in your head uh, or what um, the outcome that you are wanting. 
The recent past is the sun with the ten of wands. You could have been trying to do everything yourself in, in certain aspects. Um, and I'm just getting like sun on your back here, so maybe you're getting out into the uh, warmer weather um, and getting the, the sun literally on your back. Um, you know, it's all beneficial here. But there's been burdens, there's been a lot that you've carried. Maybe putting on a brave face for things, the sun is about, you know, having that happy face. Um, so maybe you've, you've been carrying a lot of burdens but putting a happy front on. The immediate future is the devil with the magician. Somebody in your environment doesn't want your best, doesn't have your best interests at heart. Uh, somebody could be performing some sort of, because this is a combination for black magic. Um, so there could be some sort of black magic involved somewhere. It's not going to work, whatever that is. Um, in regards to if you're in any sort of conflict uh, and if it is you delving in it please don't put an end to that um, but also I kind of feel like the magician is also here to represent mercury retrograde so there could be some sort of temptation coming in this mercury retrograde season and um, so any decisions if you are you know eager to rush a decision hold off until after this period The outcome is the Six of Swords with the Ten of Swords. This is the end of this Five of Swords conflict. It's the end of the conflict. It's the end of kind of a battle. You know, the other side awaits. However, the Two of Swords before you get to that other side is the High Priestess saying not everything is as it seems. The Two of Swords energy is High Priestess asking you to be patient. So I almost feel like there's an outcome in your head that you've got stuck in your head. Could well be different because not everything is as it seems. Energies change. The magician hears to say that the energies does change. Um, and the outcome, the ending, could be different than what uh, you anticipate. Okay. Interesting. In the extended, we're going to look at what... What is coming to uh, what is coming to an end? Really, we're gonna look at it from a different point of view. Uh, hopefully, we can delve into some of whatever this devil magician energy is, um, and see from there. Could be seen ten ten a lot. Also, sixty six. Six six six. Six 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 six. Okay. So if you can join me in the extended fantastic. If not I shall see you next time. We have you could be dealing with our uh, having your chat. We have Gemini Virgo, we have Strong Gemini, we have Capricorn, we have Scorpio, we have Leo, Scorpio Libra, Sagittarius. Okay. So yeah, definitely need to kind of remain in the present and don't let your ego overtake you in regards to some outcome that you desire if you're dealing with black magic please don't um and if somebody else is it's not going to work you know we've got the uh, ten of swords here it um you know return to sender okay take care i'll see you soon bye